as we get into your Friday. Lots of sunshine, more sunshine for the weekend with highs in the mid to upper 70s. And the next chance of showers coming in on Tuesday and Wednesday at best right now, about a 20% chance. Now over to Tessa. All right, Tom, thanks. Well, you know, it's almost time for prom and we're staying in prom in style in prom style. There we go under budget, right? With Amanda Rose and a butterfly boutique in Simon's Amanda. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, we are coming up on a prom time. Somerville, Wando and West Ashley, all their proms uh, coming up starting in April, around the middle of April. Yeah. But you actually did some homework because we've all gone to prom. We know that it's pretty much a rite of passage when you're in high school, but we there's a history behind when yeah, it started and all there of that. There is a huge history. And it started in the Northeast, it seems, in the elite colleges. Yeah. And they were kind of taking their cues from the dead balls, from yeah, the rich. The and, yeah, yeah, the rich and the high society. And they mm -hmm. kind of wanted to reflect on that a bit. Mm -hmm. And the word promenade, it's prom, promenade. Okay. So it's a formal dance where participants can display fashion, mm -hmm. style, and dancing. And all of that, it's gone on for a very, very long time. Yeah, the middle classes admired the poise and the composure of the debutantes yeah. and their escorts. So the middle class parents wanted an avenue for their children mm -hmm. to also be able to learn these social graces as America became richer. Okay. So we look at early proms were often very homespun affairs, you know, the gymnasium, Absolutely. yeah, yeah, with, yeah, with the decorations. Stuff, yeah. And in the early 1900s, they wore their Sunday best. Mm -hmm. You know what they wore to church, they wore That's to prom. That's what they wore to the dance, yeah. yeah. Then as we went into the 20s and 30s, America became, you know, a little more affluent. The family car. Right. So this was the first time that the guy could, could take the family the car out. <laughs> yeah, and pick up his date. Yeah, and I noticed too, like uh, for the prom books too, 1930s and 40s, that's when prom pictures started appearing. Exactly, and this is where they're wearing party attire mm -hmm. at this point. Yeah. And then we move, we shunt ahead again into the 1950s, and this is where, this will be the first time mom took daughter out to get prom um, attire. You know that Dresses, fabulous? shoes, yeah. and yeah. all of that. That's the yeah. first time she would do that. <laughs> and then now we go into the 80s. Fast right. forward, it's the 80s, larger than life, mm -hmm. with stretch limos and every accoutrement that you can think right. of. And this is where it became the coming of age for our young people here wow. in the United States. And yeah. so what the very important, important things, because my prom was uh, in the 80s <clears throat> at some point in time during then, and I still remember the, the dress that yeah. I had and actually getting ready for that and shopping for it. But the important thing that people should know that when they're shopping this time for prom season is that they, they can come to Butterfly Boutique yeah. in Simon yeah. and get it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I just want to go back to dress hemlines with you. Yeah, they real used quick. to be fully, fully long, long yeah. dresses. Okay, but the mm -hmm. hemlines have gone shorter. And so it's more acceptable yeah, now. Yeah, they, they choose a flirtier hemline. But whether mm -hmm. you have a short hemline like this one yeah. or a long one, mm -hmm. it can be a very expensive night out. It surely can. Absolutely. So one of the le the ways to make it easier on your pocketbook. Come see you. consignment. That's right. Because this yeah. beautiful dress here, this is only what was it? Um, yeah, twenty four dollars. Twenty four dollars. The yeah, necklace. Twenty three dollars. And the shoes. The shoes $21. Wow. Okay? Look at now, all that. Now, if you're looking at the long one here, mm -hmm. that's $82. That's all. And your shoes are $21. And again, your necklace is $21. So about $120 on that outfit, mm -hmm. about $70 on this outfit here. Yes. And now we have one if you're in the and court. And this one's very yeah. embellished. Yeah, if you're that. in the prom court, now you might want to spend a little bit more money. This mm -hmm. is a phenomenal, beautiful dress. Yes. And this one is more expensive. It was about $600 retail, and mm -hmm. we're selling it for $230. And I see the shoes for are about $38. Yeah. The shoes There's are thirty-eight dollars, and they reflect that beautiful burgundy iridescent. I love that, and that blue. That is gorgeous. So wherever yeah. they turn, when that light hits it, oh, oh it's going to be very, very yeah. stunning. So yeah. if they're thinking about going prom shopping, they can come see you in Mount Pleasant off Long Point Road, yep. or on our King Street location. And they have the dresses, you have the shoes, and even the accessories. Very Absolutely. affordable. Very, very affordable. So you can have a stress-free evening as far as money is concerned. Yeah. But we can't take the teenage stress from the prom away. Exactly. We can't do that. No, you can't. It's, oh my God, I've got a pimple. How am I going to go? Oh! <laughs> Amanda, thank you. Thank you so much. And enlightening us on the history of thank the you. prom. It was my pleasure. We appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Much more Low Country Live coming up right after the break.